Let's go to minimalism, something you may have heard me talk about by now, but something that definitely was not a part of my life until I watched the documentary, The Minimalists. Minimalism was phase one. You've heard me talk about it before, but it wasn't until that very dark time in my life in 2015 where I was still enough to gather all of this information in the documentary, The Minimalist. Josh and Ryan have helped so many, including me. The documentary was one thing. I took the next step and read their books, and then I thought to myself, how can I apply this to my life? This was something that had impact because the simplicity of living with less allows you to have more time to spend with your family or friends, more freedoms to travel with less guilt of the things you're leaving behind, and less things to do on your days off. Think about it, when you have a big house, you spend your weekends taking care of that big house. When you have less things to take care of, you have more freedom. So I'm thankful for the information that I gathered from Josh and Ryan and The Minimalists, and it was really life-changing for me. I asked myself, how could I reduce my life by 75%? Seems extreme, but when you realize that I was living in a three bedroom, four bedroom house by myself, with obviously more space than I needed, when I was living in a different mindset that seemed so normal and realistic, but what I realized going through this process was, it wasn't who I am, and so, I started in 2016. I started to go through all the items that I had and decide could someone I know use this? It came down to art, came down to some furniture, came down to some clothes. I would just take pictures of things. Do you know anybody that can use this? That part of it was very cleansing and really positive because I was sharing things that I no longer needed with someone else. To cut to the chase, one thing led to another and I shed so many unnecessary things that I realized the next obvious step would be to sell my house. Moving is not something we want to rush into, but I started this thought in 2017. How can I make this as easy for myself as possible? Where would I want to land next? But most importantly, we're back on that 75%. It was incredibly important to me to minimize my life down, which I did. I closed the sale of my house this week I'm temporarily living in a hotel with photos that you will be able to see. And I'm at the in-between before I go away on my Thanksgiving vacation. So it's a little bit of a joke about me being homeless at the moment, but I know where I'm going next and it's gonna be a much simpler way of life. I've shed everything and I'm gonna be able to move freely and live in a pure state of minimalism.